bone, waterlogged wood, and ancient bacterium. The guts of the ice shimmer in the ex-arctic sands. Death brings flatulent tremors, and from some deep crevice, a jet of gas rockets forth, fanning out below the curve of the stratosphere. The radio tells of an ivory boom and the monetization of woolly mammoths. Defrosted tusks are a hit on Wall Street. Litten burnt down in a few days. A wildfire without a wilderness scorched through its bricks, its mortar, its soft pink flesh, as reporters speculated on the demand for air conditioning across Canada's skin. One thing is certain. As the river salmon were boiled alive, they created the fastest food joint in history. The last clearances are quickening. A patchwork of scar tissue carved ever deeper in the Amazon, that great lung of the Americas. Its peoples, who once nestled among twisted roots and sweaty undergrowth, are beaten and shot, burnt and hung in the old way, preferred by ranchers dressed in dusky leather, or cowboys with their slicked hair. The forest wheezes with them, expelling the smoke bought by carbon merchants. And here, in this wilting world, we still stand beneath the tattered red, mad like dying dreamers, screaming riot against the rains and freedom from the sun, and begging the day. These hands, dispossessed, might embrace this earth, bleeding out. <laughs>